If you like to have a good time, this is gonna be a really fun video to watch. Today's adventure may have required a little bit of a hike to get here, but it's filled with a lot of amazing views, a lot of amazing food, and even better, it's for a great cause coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle, and I make travel videos every week. So if you get up, get out and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I am bringing you on today's adventure and the story begins with getting to this private island. Welcome to Kamalami Key. It's not just 3.5 miles of paradise, but it's also 3.5 miles of luxury because it's home to one of the top rated resorts in the Bahamas. And where we're going today, we're gonna have one hell of a good time drinking, partying, and eating at a fundraising event for BRIEF. And BRIEF stands for the Bahamas Reef Environment Educational Foundation. So to get here, yeah, you could take a regular plane, but we're going just for the day. This event's only an afternoon long. And so we're going to charter a plane to get there. And uh, <laughs> most of us will have a seat. It's not the biggest airport in the world because it's not your typical airport. So welcome to the General Aviation Center, which is located like right inside, or near rather, the main airport of Nassau. And what's cool about chartering a plane is you're on your own schedule. So you, you literally get there five minutes before the plane takes off and you can go and come back at whatever time you want to be going at. So we've chartered a nine seater plane that well, apparently only has eight working seats and we're taken off for Kamala Mickey. And if you're wondering how long is this flight, we are, so we're actually headed to here, which from Nassau, I mean, it's not very far, but this flight, any guesses on how long you think it is? Tell me in the comments below. The answer is 12 minutes. And if you're wondering who the heck is Christine with, I am so, so stoked to be spending my day hanging out with the locals. The majority of these super fun, super amazing party people today have either been born here in the Bahamas or have been living here for some nine years, some 21 years or longer. They are definitely locals. But we are only on part one of three of this journey. And if you're having some fun with me on this adventure, cheers that like button, consider subscribing and tell me if you've ever been to the Bahamas in the comments below. But now that we've landed over here, we're gonna take the 20-ish minute ride on a taxi to the boat dock. And no, I'm not driving. So what's interesting about the Bahamas is that everyone drives on the left side of the road, but the cars are mixed. Sometimes the driver's side is on the left side and sometimes the driver's side is on the right side. And uh, I, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not the one driving. So even after an eventful ride with no alcohol, we jump onto this now little flat boat for a super long two minute boat ride, just kidding, just to the private island of Kamalamiki. Uh, 
And what's the first thing that we did when we got there? Well, the usual answer is go have a drink, which most of the team did go kick it off straight at the bar having Bloody Marys and Bloody Caesars, which I was very jealous about. But I really wanted to go fly my drone first. But first, let's look at the crabs. Another dude totally won. That guy got left in the dust. So these crabs are everywhere on the island, but it was time to fly my drone. And <laughs> here's a funny story. There was a little bit of some weather coming in, but it seemed all right. I thought I'd get in a quick flight, but he here's what happened. Well, that escalated kind of quickly. Now I'm hiding. <laughs> Whoops, literally had my drone up for like 10 seconds. It's all right. Uh, keep it dry. <laughs> so if you want to see the really amazing drone footage that I got, this island really is really beautiful. And what's interesting is obviously the beach side is gorgeous, but on the other side of the beach, it's, it's really pretty. And some of the colors of the water are amazing, especially as the weather changed throughout the day. But I have a full drone video of that. If you want to check it out, info in the description below. It's on my drone YouTube channel. Well. I'm all dried off now. Rain is not done. Ooh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Hello. And I think it might be time to just start drinking. It's 10. <laughs> But now the luncheon begins, and we've got DJ Fruz on the ones and twos. We've got past appetizers, we got dancing, and we got cute dogs, and we got cigars, and we got a lot of drinks. setup was really, really beautiful, but it's different than what it normally is. So the actual luncheon part is usually on the beach, but given the weather <laughs> that we saw earlier, we're keeping covered. And so we ate a lot of fish and we ate a lot of lobster, and then we got to learn and also do fundraising for Brief. So again, Brief is dedicated to actually educating both Bahamians and visitors about the coral reefs. And they help around 3,500 students a year through the education programs that they have. And they also are restoring and protecting the reef. And I've had an opportunity to see coral reef farms around the world. Like when I go diving with the nonprofit I'm a part of, One Blue Ocean, we were in Bonaire checking out a lot of their amazing dive sites and their coral reefs. So this is just something I care a lot about. Consider checking out both of these amazing ocean nonprofit organizations. Info in the description below. But after I learned about Brief, I may have stole away for kind of a fun tour. So if you actually want to see and hear about this resort, check out my other video info in the description below. But after this tour, it was time for more dancing and more drinking. And it was great because it was for a really great cause. And I got to meet and spend the day with so many amazing people. There were probably around 75 to 80 people there. And then, <laughs> unfortunately, it was the reverse journey home. And if you're curious, any any guesses on how much it costs to charter a plane? 
So this one, the nine seater, was around $2,000 for the flight, a uh, round trip. So in other words, around $230 per person. But it was an adventure that was totally worth it and so much fun. I hope you had fun with me in today's adventure. If you did, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. And this is one of many of the adventures I'm having here in the Bahamas. So stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.